Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Bricks and Flicks podcast. Um, it's been a while, but uh, we're back, and uh, we're going to talk about some Lego ideas sets and uh, also some 2021 sets. So that will be exciting. And um, let's get started, I guess. Why don't we talk about some 2021 sets? So we're just going to be showing some images from uh, 1414 Falcon fans um, Instagram. So go and check them out if you're interested in some Lego news and uh, leaks. And um, some of this stuff is from uh, Promo Bricks and uh, Stone Wars. Um, so go check them out as well. And uh, 1414 Falcon Fan is uh, linked below in the description. But uh, let's get started out. And uh, first we are going to start off with um, some of the first stuff that we had. So we had the, um, sorry. Um, one second. Um, let me see. If I can, okay. Let's share my screen. Okay. Um, so the Star Wars set list. Um, we have the Millennium Falcon Microfighter for nine ninety nine. Tauntaun and AT-80 Microfighter for $19.99. Another Microfighter, it seems, uh, a 4 plus resistance X-Wing Mandalorian vehicle, TIE Fighter, X-Wing, Imperial Shuttle, uh, UCS set, and three buildable helmets and a buildable statue. That is from Promo Bricks. And then if we go over to um, from uh, Stone Wars, we have, uh, so the Millennium Falcon Microfighter uh, will have 101 pieces. Mandalorian Hero Vehicle, 276. TIE Fighter, 432. X-Wing, 474. Then we also got that the helmets are going to be Darth Vader and Scout Trooper. And an Imperial Probe Droid is also rumored. Um, that's it for Star Wars right now. Thoughts on those, Will? Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um... It's interesting to see the prices that they've dropped quite a bit on the like X Wing and TIE Fighter. Um, yeah, for sure. So um, with that, um, it, they've lowered in piece count as well as price. Uh, so they'll mm -hmm. be simplified builds of iconic vehicles. It seems like instead of maybe um, doing more builds from the Clone Wars, as many people have been asking for in recent. Uh, years uh, due to the popularity of the Clone Wars and it coming back uh, for season seven. Um, it has a very dedicated fan base and uh, they feel like um, more Lego sets are needed and uh, that we have gotten enough of uh, these classic um, original trilogy uh, vehicles. Um, I think that it's good to have um, affordable uh, classic vehicles like the X-Wing and the TIE Fighter, but uh, there should also be some originality um, among things. And uh, if we can hop on over uh, and look at, we're going to look at some Ninjago. So there's some new stuff on that today. Here we go. So, um, with here's some Ninjago information starting from here. Uh, so, there's going to be some battle sets here Zane versus Nindroid, Kai versus Skeleton, Cole versus Ghost, and Jay versus Serpentine. Some legacy sets, which will have uh, new golden versions of the Ninja. Um, and there's some set descriptions you can read from Promo Bricks for the Tournament of Elements. Zane's Titan Mech, Lloyd's Jungle Bike and Jungle Dragon, Catamaran Sea Battle, and Village of the Guardians, as well as the villains of Season 
14. Oh, and it looks like also what the ninja will be wearing. They'll be wearing a head, new headband combo and Jay's Electromech X1 Ninja Charger and Cole's Boulder Blaster also have new descriptions. Um, thoughts on those, Will? Uh, yeah, I don't really don't. I'm not that interested in, uh, what's it called, Ninja OSS anymore, but the headband pieces might look pretty cool. Oh, and here, the Overlord Dragon will retail for $30 as well. Oh, yeah, that I actually might buy. Yep. There's something uh, back in the day that uh, mm -hmm. was very wanted by uh, Ninjago fans when we were into that. Um, now, here's something that I'm interested in. Uh, we have some Harry Potter sets. So, first, with some Harry Potter art set. We have a uh, Gryffindor. Uh, sorry, we have a Gryffindor book slash Transfiguration classroom, Slytherin book slash Potions classroom, Hufflepuff book slash Herbology classroom, and Ravenclaw book slash Charms. And uh, those are the four, the four buildable books, and they'll have classrooms inside with teachers and uh, other students. So the Gryffindor one will have Professor McGonagall, um, Ron and Hermione, and we'll have the Transfiguration classroom inside the book. As for the Slytherin, it will have Draco, Seamus Finnegan, and the Potions classroom with Snape. Hufflepuff will have the Herbology classroom with Cedric, Degree, Neville, and Professor Sprout. And Ravenclaw will have the Charms classroom with Flitwick, Cho Chang, and Harry Potter. And then there's also going to be Harry Potter, Hogwarts House, Crest. Uh, uh, art sets. Harry Potter sets, Willem? Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, the books. Um, they, they're pretty expensive, though. Well, I guess they are buildable books, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah. They might be akin to the Disney Princess ones that they did mm -hmm. earlier uh, this year. And Hopefully the they have some uh, exclusive figures or something, but I don't think they will. I think they will, actually. You think? Yeah. So, uh, Mario Price is here, so it looks like we have a new uh, series... Um, Blind Big Series, as well as a uh, Power Up Pack. Um, a couple more sets, and the five uh, 99 set could be um, a, another starter pack, possibly with Luigi. And then moving on with Jurassic World 2021 uh, prices. Uh, look at You can look at those there. Uh, I don't have too much to comment on that. Uh, and. Lego City, set names here. Police Helicopter, Police Prisoner Transporter, Search for the Crooks Hideout, Mini Fire Truck, Fire Engine, Fire Service Helicopter, Mobile Fire Brigade, Control Center, Holiday Motorhome, Construction Site Truck, Sports Car, Beach Rescue Squad, Tractor, Racing Buggy Transporter, Air Show Jet Transporter, and then here are what I think are really interesting. Modern Family House, City Center, Skate Park, an intersection with traffic lights. They're actually real city building things. Uh, like, we haven't seen a family house in the city line in uh, how long, right? Um, it's We're used to getting all these police and fire sets, but uh, not all of these um, interesting um, original ideas that are, at least for the city line, that uh, can actually expand your city. Yeah. That, that's at least my opinion, um, and uh, there's some other interesting spins on some things that we've gotten in the past or something similar. Tractors, good to see again. Uh, sports car, again, great for populating a city. And Willem? Willem? Oh, it seems like... Hello, Willem. Thank you. Uh, what I disconnected, and it, instead of putting me back in the normal, uh, what's it called, like the stream, it put me back in the like the backstage yeah. area. So. Oh. Um. Sorry about that. Um, okay. I yeah. Sorry about that. 
uh, we're just looking at some Lego city set names now. I don't know mm -hmm. for that, but I just thought it was interesting that they have the family house and the city center, the skate yeah. park. It's just like they're actual like city stuff, not just police and fire. Mm -hmm. At least that's what I thought. Um, what else? Here are the names of all the sets from like Marvel, Captain America, uh, Thor, and Miles Morales Max. Uh, plus Iron Man versus Thanos four plus set, Spider Man buggy four plus set, Ghost Rider car, Spider Man monster truck, Spider Man hideout, and then a Carnage helmet set. That's that's really interesting. Carnage helmet set. Mm -hmm. Then there's also Eternal sets ten twenty five sixty and a hundred dollars. Mm, that's, that's yeah, and then for cool. DC a Batman cowl and Batman and Joker vehicles four plus set. So only two right now, which is strange. When will uh, the Eternals come out? Like the movie? I believe next year, uh, in the earlier half. Mm -hmm. Are we getting any movies this later this year? Uh, major ones. Yeah. I think Wonder Woman is now coming out in December, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. I might consider going to theaters for that. Yeah. I want to see the new Dune movie. You see the trailer for that? Uh, I haven't, but I've heard uh, great things about it. <laughs> uh, but uh, this is another major topic. We're talking about the 2021 sets and all that crazy stuff. Uh, the Lego Ideas Project in review. Um, they, they don't stop coming. I'm telling you... Um, Especially during quarantine, so uh, maybe just we'll go through all all thirty five, give our thoughts, and uh, we'll say if we think that Lego is going to make them or not. Okay. May I read through them? Yep. Okay, so starting off, we have the mountain windmill. This Ori was in one of the. Mm, was it? It looks similar to some yeah. of the uh, Zelda builds, maybe. Mm -hmm. Think of the horse stable, maybe. Yeah. Um. But uh. Yeah. Then we have Greendale Community College. Yeah. What, what, what do you think about the mountain windmill? Oh, yeah. It's a really nice build. The the techniques in it are really cool. Uh, Yeah, it looks nice. Um, I don't... Lego could make it as a set, but I don't know if they will, would. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, continue. Yeah, Greendale Community College, which is really cool. Yeah. I want this to become a set. I would like that as a set. I especially like how like there's the outside with like the halls and stuff mm -hmm. and there too. If we click on it, you can see some of the yeah. sides with like paintball there and some other things. It looks like, oh yeah, yeah. Fort, Fort, the Dean's office there. And there is that. And that, so it goes all the way around with stuff all around the outside. So it's very playable and displayable, I would say. And yeah, great for a Lego set. I don't know if they would. They just they just did Friends and they just submitted Seinfeld. Uh, is it too soon? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Then we have Lego Hero Quest. This seems to be some sort of board game. Yeah, it's based off of an actual board game mm -hmm. that they've recreated in Lego. Um, I don't know. It's pretty cool, though. I, I don't think so, though. Okay, then. Personally. Okay, then we have Brick West, Brick West Studios. I would love this to become a set. It's it's really cool. It's a movie set, and it's Western. Uh, two things that I think uh, Lego should go back to. Uh, mm -hmm. Back to their studio stuff that they did back in the day, and then also... Also, some of the Western stuff that they did in the 90s, and we got a little bit of that when Lone Ranger came out. The but, saloon's a really nice build. Yes, yeah. Okay, do you want to move on? Sure. Okay, next we have the house from Up. Yep. Uh, Pretty cool set. Yeah, I like it. I like Up. Uh, but I think they've done this before, and it hasn't gone in, so I don't know what the chances mm -hmm. are. Yeah, and, and the balloons look okay, but I don't know. There's not enough of them. Yeah. It's, it'd be hard to create that much balloons in Lego. Yeah. And I don't know if that's stable enough maybe for even like for Lego to do. 
or they, they don't know if they have a way to do it that's stable uh, then animal crossings new horizon uh yeah. nook, granny it's pretty cool i i don't really want to win because i don't think it's fully like i guess deserving of being in it have you played animal crossing no i haven't but yeah neither have i but lots of people like it i know i've heard it is one of the number one selling switch games uh yeah and um i can understand why i got that support uh okay, next is the tray band 601 this is really cool actually i don't think they make it i think there's no way yeah it is a nice build i like the what's it called the silver pieces yeah if they were gonna make it they would make it in um the uh what do you call it the uh creator expert like vehicle yeah. line. They, like with all those cars Night at the museum. I really want this one. I think Lego could do it, and it'd be great. Yeah, I like those movies. They're pretty good. Have you yeah. watched them? Uh, yeah, I've watched them. I've watched. Yeah, I think I've watched at least a few. Uh, it's just the build is so awesome. Like, even if we look at it, tell if I like them. If I look at them <laughs> in depth, um, but look at from the outside, the natural history museum there. Yeah. You can if you open that um oh i haven't been sharing my screen oh, okay I, I thought you guys might have no. <laughs> okay i'm looking at them i can start sharing it now if yeah okay there you go but now you guys can see it too now uh but it's uh it's really cool um yeah just it's the outside and the inside work together so well, in my opinion, in this set. Yeah. And it just looks great. Like the Rat Tui set. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next, we have a uh, fast food corner. I actually saw the person who built this. They have a YouTube channel. Mm. Yeah. Wait. What? That looks like. That one building on the side looks like. Looks like all of Andrews, yeah. Yep. Like from it looks like all the from the 2011 Diagon Alley, mm -hmm. and you can see a Trelawney fig walking out the door. Oh yeah, huh? Hmm. I don't. I don't think. No, they wouldn't make it. It's a modular. They don't mm -hmm. make. Would they? No, I don't think so. Let me look. Is there an interior? Yeah, there is. There is. It's a pretty good one. The second floor is like a, the <laughs> second and third floor are like rock climbing area, like a, oh. like camping and stuff like that. Hmm. It's like antiques or something. Mm hmm And then there's like a restaurant, and then oh, that's a pharmacy there. Cool. What's upstairs exactly? Oh, like camping. camping stuff. And then the second floor for like that antique store. And the third floor is uh more like there's another floor of it. Camping and stuff. Or... Okay. Okay, going back uh now, uh Avatar the Last Airbender. Mm -hmm. This is a cool set. Have you seen the show? Uh no. No. Uh, I've watched a little bit. My brother watches it. Um but I think it has cool minifigures and mm -hmm. a cool build. And uh, there are the mini brick productions. Go check him out. Um, there's some awesome uh, sets and uh, uh, minifig series and support uh, his and uh, Top Lego 8's uh, Gravity Falls project. That'd be really cool. That was made. Okay. Next we have Portal 2 GLaDOS S versus Chell and Wheatley. Uh, I don't think they do it. No. I think they would have done it back when they did it, it for Dimensions. Yeah, and, and back when there was a, uh, what's it called? There was a Portal idea set already, wasn't there? Yeah, I think so. Like, it was one of the early ones. Mm -hmm. uh, then the BMW M1 yeah. and E26, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. It's cool. And I don't think they'll do it, but it's a really nice build, especially the, the one further back. The way they blend, blend yeah. the colors. But they, if they wanted to do these cards, they would do them in Speed Champions or Creator Expert. Mm -hmm. Okay, next we have Sheriff, oh no, Caribbean Clipper. 
they're doing it. Yeah. And but it like, is a nice it's a nice boat though, generally, you know. Yeah. It's because it's because they, they just did Barracuda Bay. Mm-hmm. And I get that they want to do this to tie in with Barracuda Bay, right? But yeah. but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, next we have a sheriff's safe. So I, this is combination lock. One sec. You can keep talking, just. Oh yeah. So uh, this looks like it actually has like a working combi- combination lock, maybe some mechanism inside of it. My and then it is a really nice build, and especially the stuff on top is built really well, like the book, um, the revolver. It looks nice, and the the way they made the um, melting wax on the candle is really cool too. Okay, next we have um, probably Liam will probably scroll down, but it's thirty one Minitos TV studio. Hello. I'm really confused. I'm back. Yeah, Liam. Okay, we're yeah. on the <laughs> we're on to the thirty one Minitos oh, TV exactly. studio. And that sheriff safe does work. Um, the yeah, this is like a I think it's popular in Latin America. Um, okay. I've I'm confused. I've never heard of it before. No, I, I don't. This is, this, it's not an impressive build either or anything. And and you've never heard of it? No, I've never heard of it. So, so you're saying you don't know how it got 10,000? Yes, exactly. That's, that's what I'm saying. I was about to say that. Oh. <laughs> uh, neither do I. But just because I don't know it, it may be very popular. Okay. Um. And that Southwest uh, 737 800 by Big Plains Customs. I want this to work. Actually, sick. Yeah, this is amazing. Oh, I didn't even see the inside. Yeah, it's like a full plane. Like, oh. interiorized. Yeah. This would be amazing to have, like, I said, just a full, like, display. It'd be, it'd be very expensive, but it'd be, like, just awesome. And you can, like, stack it with many figures, like. Mm-hmm. If you ever want to build, like, an actual plane, you know. Like for I mean for like an airport like a huge airport for like a city. Yeah, I, I hope that gets made. Uh, Terry Pratchett's Discworld. I don't really know much about this. It's pretty cool. It's based off a uh, property or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know of anything about it. No, not I don't really. Seasons and okay. time calendar. This is cool. Oh, <laughs> we said that at the same time. Uh, it's cool. It's yeah, just, it just how it shows the seasons, and you can flip mm-hmm. flip the clock. Uh, I think this could have a chance. Yeah, and it's really uh, like it. Yeah, it's just a really nice build. Really nice techniques. Mm. Then exploratorium. This is something. It's steam, very steampunk. Yeah, definitely. Very, it feels very cluttered. But it, it is a really nice build. I sort of like it though. Yeah. It's just interesting. Mm-hmm. Feels kind of like Ninjago City with how the yeah. water is there. How the water, yeah. yeah. I, I think that too. Uh, Hocus Pocus, Sanders and Sisters Cottage. Uh, that's based off a Disney movie, I think. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it. Have you? It's cool. No, I haven't. It's interesting. They're using a, a GIF for the fire yeah. thing. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that, really. Yeah. Uh, and then the Rosebud Hotel. Hotel. Um, I don't know if they would do this just based off of the name of the show. It's based yeah. Uh, but the show is very popular. Um, it, it's I, good- I, yeah, sorry. So, I, started, I started watching the show. But I couldn't continue. The characters weren't likable at all. They were just really terrible people. <laughs> That's supposed to be funny, I guess. I know. Uh, it was just impossible to watch for me, though. <laughs> um, uh, but I wouldn't mind the build. It's called the Game Hotel. A Gold Rush Mine Train Roller Coaster. I really like this. I don't mm-hmm. think people would necessarily make it because they already have a roller coaster on the market, a big one right now. Yeah. I like it, though. Yeah, that's nice. I feel like there's one at, like, Disney World or something that's like it. Uh, then Vincent Van Gogh, The Starry Night. Really cool build techniques here. 
Yeah. And yeah. Um, this really cool 3D model of a famous uh, painting. The Fortress Imperial Army. It's nice. Yeah. Again, it's like parts of Barracuda Bay, sort of. Yeah, and you'd get a lot of studs. <laughs> yeah, Lego would never do that. Uh, okay, why don't, you, why don't you keep reading one? Okay, we have the Seagull Bay Lighthouse Imperial Fortress. I swear we just saw this, but I don't think we did. <laughs> the one that we just, what? It was the one that we just called was called, the red was called the Fortress by Imperial Army. And this one's yeah. called Seagull Bay Lighthouse oh, really Imperial good. Fortress. The colors, but, you know, there's also skeletons being hung right there. So that's sort of dark. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We just, let's just move on. Yeah. This is, um, the bakery. Not going to get made. No. There is, okay. Speaking of baker. There is a, um, this is kind of really hard, to, it's kind of weird how I made the connection, but um, there, there's a Sherlock Holmes uh, idea set, like the, not, sorry, the BBC show. Yeah. Yeah. I want that to be made. Okay. Um, I, they wouldn't make this another modular style build. Mm -hmm. uh, this one seems really random. If they wanted to make it, um, they would make it uh, in um, architecture. Architecture, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. um, Bangladesh uh, National Parliament. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Lego Doggo. Protect your dog. It's cool, but... Um, would they make it? It looks like just like brickheads to me. <laughs> If they wanted to make dog brickheads, wouldn't they make I like the them? line at the bottom, support us and bring us home. <laughs> They're trying to guilt you and to bring them home. Mm -hmm. um, and then Zen Bonsai by Brent Waller. This is a really impressive build. It'd be a pain to put all those grass pieces in there. Yeah. On. But it looks great. The final yeah. product looks excellent. Uh, mm -hmm. Then Naruto... Uh, uh, ramen shop, uh, and uh, this is based off the show Naruto, which is a popular anime. Um, from what I understand, I've never watched it. I know almost nothing about it, uh, but I know it's popular. Well, yeah. any, do you have anything to say about it's it? A nice build. I like how they did like the um, like the cloth on the ramen shop yeah i like i like like the wires too for like the electrical oh yeah yeah it looks yeah. great yeah that's good um it's a good build temple of hermit that's cool looks like the temple of air jitsu to me like really yeah like, like temple a bigger of air jitsu steroids yeah very similar in my eyes uh the ocean house this one looks like uh Remember when they had that contest? Mm -hmm. it, it looks like that. Oh, yeah. What won that contest? I honestly forget. Huh. Hmm. I don't know. Medieval Market? It was nice. I don't think they'll make it. They're making a medieval set. They're making that uh, medieval mm -hmm. black in the shop as an idea set. Yeah. I don't know. Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout Course. I think this is going to be made. You think so? Yeah. I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. I supported it. I was the. It was at 501 and then I supported it at 502. <laughs> um, but. Uh, it's good. Good. It's a, it's a good idea. I like the figures. The build, the features are great. Um, the build, some of the build isn't, is a bit lacking with the, Yeah. Yeah. I think they could improve on the build, but some of the features are good and the figures are great, in my opinion. Like, it's such a good design for that type of figures. Then, um, I'm sure Willem has to say a lot about this one. Oh, yeah. This is your favorite, isn't it? I like this set. I don't like the movie, but I like the set. 
You don't like the movie? No, I don't like the movie much. Oh. Well, maybe I do. I don't know. I've seen it once, and it was a really long time ago, and I really didn't. Well, I, like, well, I, it. Really, I, I never really looked at it that deep. Like, yeah, just, it is a nice build. Like a restaurant and kitchen like that. And yeah. If you really put some work into it, you could really make a like an impressive, um, like large modular or something. Yeah, for sure. Um, what's that? The art of ratatouille. How I made this project. Wow. You made a book about it. Mm -hmm. That that that's crazy. Yeah. And is this the same guy who made the other idea projects? The other. Um, sorry. Oh, I'm not signed in, so I can't look right now. Uh, but uh, that's the one before. And uh, those ones are being currently reviewed. We looked at those before. In the past, we did. Um, but uh, I think I like Ratatouille. Fall Guys, I do like. Um, I don't know if it will be made. Uh, uh, number two has a cool, cool build. Bonsai Tree is cool. I wouldn't necessarily like it. Um, I like that roller coaster. It's a cool motel. Um, I think I really like that airplane. Just like, like a large scale airplane. Like that. We don't see that really. Mm -hmm. Um, Avatar. Awesome. Night at the museum. Night at the museum is one one of my favorites. Yeah. And Request Studios, I really like too. Yeah. Oh, and Community is cool too. Very cool. Very awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, great. Okay. We're finished with that. Let's go to something else. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, Liam. Uh, I might have to leave a bit early. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'll I'll give it to like nine fifteen, but I think I'll have to leave after that because I okay have some stuff to do for sure. Um, so on Lego Ideas, they changed uh, some of the rules. So if we go to Here, uh, it says, uh, <clears throat> uh, let's see, here, uh, where is it, where is it, I cannot find it. Are they taken away? No. Oh, um, okay. Basically what it says is now you can, um, you can't have uh, any new Lego parts in your idea set, but if Lego thinks that there should be new parts made, then they'll, then they'll make it themselves. Uh, so mm -hmm. that was a Sesame Street set. Um, so that's just a little bit of news there. Um, another ideas news we have. Uh, there we got news that they are re releasing some Lego idea sets. So, if we go here, uh, the ship in a bottle set, as well as uh, the Saturn V rocket, are going to be. We released uh, with new with uh, new set numbers. Um, so that's rumored by Stone Wars and then confirmed by Brickset and the Lego Ideas team. And the Lego, and they're still getting the one percent, the fan designers. And it's just great to have these iconic sets uh, back on sale. Um, you you have the ship in the ball, don't you? Will? Yeah, I do. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, it's a nice set. It's not mine. Like my brother has it, but okay. It's a really nice set. You know, they, there's loose studs in it. Hmm. Yeah. And uh, you don't have the Saturn V rocket, do you? No. Mm. Yeah, I think... Yeah. Uh, space stuff doesn't really interest me, but... Um, 
a ship in a bottle. I know, I know, lots of people like this, so um, I think it's good that they're bringing it. Uh, oh, November. Oh, oh, in November first, they are launching. Oh, right. really? Huh? Hmm. Yeah. Really interesting. Okay. And let's look at the next thing. What could it be? What could it be? Oh, the Batwing. Yes. So last year they released, um, as you may know, they released the 1989 Batmobile. And we talked about this before that the Batwing leaked. And uh, now it's official. So here it is Batwing. There. Pretty nice. It's a really nice design. Yeah, there's a minifig stand with a new version of Joker, the same Batman as last year. And then uh, that is uh, Lawrence, one of the Joker's goons. Uh, lots of people wanted uh, his right-hand man, as he calls him, or his number one guy, uh, rather, uh, Bob. But uh, it seems like they chose a uh, not as moon character. To include as the third character, which is a bit strange, uh, but uh, all the figure designs are looking great in my opinion. I like the arm printing. Yeah, for sure. The printing is excellent, and uh, it can be mounted on a wall and right mm -hmm. on a stand. There's a display oh. like that, or on the wall, like there, like so. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, let's go to another thing to look at quickly. Moss Eisley. What do you think of Moss Eisley one? Oh, uh, yeah, I really like it. It's, um, it, it's a lot better better than I thought it would be, Junior. Like, I thought it'd be, like, all uh, spread around and... Uh, like, s different sections? Yeah. It would be more like the Ultimate Collector series um, Assault on Hoth, and less yeah. like Cloud City. Mm -hmm. um, it's but better than Cloud City, I think. I don't know about that, um, but the minifigure selection, I think, is, uh, like, there's no updates to the ones that are already there, and, uh, but great to see all these new uh, Cantina patrons, and the yeah. boat is pretty great. Um, and Beige Bosque is pretty cool. <laughs> Beige Bosque. Of course. That's definitely his name. Um, yeah. I don't well, know. I, I can't just call him, like, Bosk, like, if I started his name with it, like, beige, if I took the B and, it's, like, put it as Bosk, because he's already Bosk, isn't he? Yeah, I guess so. He has, he has to be beige Bosk, or yeah. Bosk age. <laughs> and then there's also, it came with a Yoda's lightsaber. Oh. Hmm. Uh, promo. Do you think that's to scale? Probably around. Yeah. Yeah. You hadn't seen that before? No, I just saw that. Right now? Yeah. Really? It yeah. was only released with the Cantina when it came out. Hmm. Oh, Captain America's 24 has made a return. Oh. Is he? Yeah. Oh. Three minutes ago. <laughs> Isn't that great? Hello. To him. Hello. Um, okay. Let's stop sharing our screen. And we... That's a cool lightsaber, though. I think mm -hmm. they can do more of those. We're uh, on seven now, right? Let's talk about this. About eight. We're on eight. Oh, you want to talk about Lepin? Sure. The owner of Lepin was sent to prison. Yes. Very uh, nice. If you don't know, they copy Lego make knockoffs. Mm -hmm. um, probably isn't the most legal thing. Yeah. Probably not. Um, so he's been sent to jail, or they have been sent to jail. That's not like a knockoff brand at Toys R Us. 
But it wasn't an actual. It was an no. actual. It wasn't like they were just copying their sets, was it? No, there's one they kind of copied, but it wasn't like a full copy. Mm. They were like a purely architecture line, I'm pretty sure. Uh, was it like nano blocks? No, no, I don't think so. Mm. But, <laughs> Star plan. Yeah. There's some worst ones. <laughs> there's worst ones than that. Um, What's oh, Harry Potter? Uh, I don't know. I'll switch it up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty crazy that they're doing that stuff. Um, Elf Clubhouse. Oh, let's show that. Oh, hey, I found it. Uh, oh, no, I'm accidentally sharing. Uh, it's an endless circle. Uh, it's called Magic World. Yeah. Yeah. What do they call it? Um, but It's a bit underwhelming. What is? Magic World. Oh. Okay, let's not show you um, all of this. Let's show you instead... Uh, elf clubhouse. Ooh, elf clubhouse. What your vote set? Yay! <laughs> Street view instead of Lego modulars. <laughs> yeah, so include four elves and a new reindeer piece. Well, it's not a new reindeer piece. It's the Harry Potter mold uh, mm -hmm. of the stag. I found a really creative one for their names. For oh, are we looking at leopard names now? Yeah, uh, I'm just looking. This, this is the last now one. Really, a Lepin podcast. This is the last one. It's called. It's the Technic name knockoff. Technician. No, it's called Technics. Technics with an Technics F. with an S. <laughs> oh, oh wow, great! Yeah, I saw one where Technic is called Technician. Yeah, I saw that too. Uh, that that was creative. Mm -hmm. I think was, anyways, that was the Elf Clubhouse. That was quick. Uh, next, next, next. Here's another Christmas-related news. Oh, yeah. Apparently, they're making... I'll just read this one off because we really don't have to show it. Show it. Lego's making paper bags now, I'm pretty sure. Well, I wasn't on that one yet. I know, but it's I'm literally... We don't have to show them pictures, do we? I want to show that. Okay, fine. Interesting. Um, two new Christmas sets um, were unveiled. Nutcracker and re promos. Okay. Thoughts? Um, there's not much. Yeah. Talk about. Now we're just talking about little news, you know? What is, yeah. Um, wow. We used to be highly respected, I thought. <laughs> okay, next we have... Um, uh, Bricktober. October, yeah. Yay, Bricktober. Boo, Bricktober. Mm. We like old Bricktober. Not my Bricktober. Sorry? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, yay, Bricktober, but mm, nay, Bricktober, actually. It, 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 they're great. Uh, well, they are great. The boxes are cool and, like... The, the sets are cool, but they aren't they aren't the exclusive minifigures that we saw in 2018, are they? No. The Bricktober packs are dead. Bricktober amusement parks live. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I wish they did, like, a new Harry Potter Bricktober pack. Yeah. Well, the thing is, Toys R Us doesn't ex fully exist in the United States. Yeah, what is it now that it's they still have some sort of version of it? it they still right? have to some toys, with, but it doesn't exist like it does in Canada or in other parts mm -hmm. of the world. Um, yeah. Well, they should have just made it like a target, target Bricktober thing, shouldn't they? I don't know. I don't like, know. that's Target's kind of a place like for like it. Want to look at these paper bags, one? Or did they not yeah. show the paper bags even in this article? Sure, <laughs> they're not that interesting. They're numbered paper bags. <laughs> they're numbered paper bags. Lego is being good for the environment. Good job, Lego. Save the environment. Go out there. Yeah. <sighs> they're, they're just one of their eco friendly initiatives. Uh, yeah. Are you going to show it? No. <laughs> <laughs> After all that. Um, and. Okay. 
Uh, I'll do. I'll, I, we don't need to. Yeah, every, everything else I don't need to show. Uh, but uh, there's going to be uh, 12 minifigures in the new CMFs. Mm -hmm. You have two 12s there. Oh, no, it's just 12 CMF yeah. minifigures. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. 12. Okay, yeah, 12, 12, C 12 minifigures in the CMF now, starting in 2021. So uh, we aren't getting as much figures, which sort of sucks. But hopefully they're better because there's less. Right. Yeah, that's Put a more time into making more exclusive more. figures. What? Like they can make more exclusive figures with more exclusive stuff. Now that they don't have to constantly, now that they don't have to use as many machines to create the minifigs, you know. Well, they, they can make. They can make. Hopefully, they can make better minifigures, but just less. Of yeah. Them. If they're making less, hopefully they can do better. Oh, mm -hmm. and now we're going to look at some Lego, sick Lego clothing for your uh, cool back-to-school look. That you'll get bullied for. Oh, what? No. <laughs> like, le Lego clothing makes you cool. Um, so you can get your, your Lego Dots Levi's jean jacket there. Mm -hmm. And look like a factory worker. Wow. But look at those. Wow. Wow. Those jeans with some dots on there. You know, mm -hmm. who doesn't love to wear jeans with um <laughs> with Lego. with bracelet Lego bracelet pieces covered on them? There's some bricks on like the fly area of the pants. Yeah, uh, there's like bricks on the back and bricks on on the pockets. And... It's, oh, what about this hat? Well, okay, that's kind of nice. Mm. Yeah, so you'd, you'd still get bullied for it. Yeah, or the beanie. Oh, that's that's a bit better. Oh, we have a we have a problem, guys. My mouse died. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, have a trackpad. Oh, well, it is my trackpad. Did I? Well, wait, I never saw this one. That one's actually cool. The shirt. Yeah, look, it's that that one's better. Mm -hmm. It's just a like. Yeah. Brick with the Levi's logo on it. Yeah, that, that that that's something that. And then there's this one. That one, the, the sweaters and stuff are sort of better. Yeah. Ah, but they're. Oh, oh, this one that's isn't nice. better. It, the, like the one, the ones that are like the art that don't actually have Lego sticking to them are better. And then that one has. That one looks like you work at Beyond the Brick. Um. Then, what is, huh? Boom, do you know what that is? Hello? Hello? Are we still connected? Um, if we are, I think we're going to have to stop. Sorry about that. We're trying to fix things up. Hopefully we can get things back on the road. Hello? 
I'm back. Okay. Thank you. Basically, what happened is, um, Levi's cool, but yeah. not cool. Mm -hmm. Um, a Lego shoe. Lego shoe like all of these crazy collaborations. Mm -hmm. Um, soon there'll be a Lego car. Oh, with studs all over. Well, they did make working cars without a Technic, didn't they? No, I mean like a license, like a like a actual car. Yeah, I know, but what? Like the one that can drive. That. I know it can, it can but it can. But, but you mean the Bugatti? Yeah, it can. No, I mean like a real car covered in studs. Oh, like how the clothing is. That was made of. It. No, Act like an actual car. That okay, but that is. People drove it. I guess, but it's not an actual car. It, you you can't buy it. Okay. Anyway, this, one off you, this one will also make you extra cool. Um, that's all to say, I guess. Yep. Um. Okay. This is. Um. Um. um, um what it's else? Number fourteen. We don't have a number fourteen. Okay. I'm pretty sure the CMF was supposed to be a number fourteen. I'm putting a number fourteen. Okay, that's okay. Uh, Mandalorian trailer. Final thing. In this rough, rough stream, this is this is this is going great. Um, it's a Mandalorian. Oh, shh. don't tell them. There was uh, there was some Star Wars music. We have to. We can't play it back. Um, mm -mm. No, no, you make copy. Wait, we can play it though. We're not making money off of this. We'll get copy strike. I don't know. I think we can get still get copyrighted. We have to be careful. Yeah, things. but we'll only get the money claim. But there's no money to make from this. Oh, that's rough. Although your channel can get taken down with more copy. Okay. 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 I got. It. This is boring talk, guys. Um, let's get to that Mandalorian trailer. Um, just so, play the music. If we, if something will get copyrighted, and that's not. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Things can happen. We 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 play it safe here. Um. So I thought it was awesome. Great to see Baby Yoda. It was interesting. See who Sasha Banks' character is. Um, people think she's Sabine Wren. I don't know about that. Has that been confirmed? I'm I'm unsure. Uh, but we're seeing him go to these new places, uh, go on a boat, even though he has a jetpack, which doesn't really make sense. Um, <laughs> what about Baby Yoda? He's a hovering thing. He could hover over the water. Mm -hmm. okay. That would be dangerous, though. Yeah. Who knows what what Baby Yoda's... Okay, okay, there's this funny thing in the trailer where, he, he, like, in the voiceover, he says, where? And then, what are those things that the um, sand the guys ride? You know, the sand guys? The yeah, yeah. I, I, it literally looked like the Bantha was, was saying that line. Yeah, the, it, it was, was saying like, where. Confused when I saw the... when I saw the trailer at first. I, I, nobody else said anything about that, but I'm glad that you n noticed it as well. Um, yeah. Okay. What else about the Mandalorian? I don't know. Do you, what do you think of, like, bo you know, like Boba Fett, and uh, Ahsoka, and uh, Sabine, and Rex, and all those Clone Wars or Rebels characters being in? The main it's, it's definitely interesting, but I hope they don't stray too far from what like the show is. You know, it it's really supposed to be a show about Din Djarin and mm -hmm. Baby Yoda. So. Yeah, yeah. Baby like Yoda. What, it's it's his journey with him. It doesn't even well. Baby Yoda is even more supposed to be a secondary. It's it's Din's story, right? Mm -hmm. Mandalorian story. It's yeah. And if they're if they're straying away and just trying to connect it with all of other stars, if they're trying to get like pushing in um, Ahsoka into every TV show and um, putting in all these other uh, characters that uh, people like uh, just to get buzz, then that's sort of ruining the purpose of what the Mandalorian um, is. Yeah. In. What? Um. Um. And Favreau and Filoni, um, I, well, at least what we saw in season one, um, they, they did a great job of that. And except for some parts, it stayed pretty, it was good to be distanced from the Skywalker saga. Um, 
No, episode five, I think, when they went to Tatooine, that was a little bit of fan service. Um, I didn't mind it. More people did um, with trying to connect it to the original trilogy and Mos Eisley. Uh, but uh, I don't know. The main I don't one, think it was that much of an issue. It was just, you know, they might as well. Yeah. It's, it's, the, not, it's going to happen on a planet anyways. You might as well make it on a planet that it was, you know, you know. Yeah. Um, well, the Mandalorian, what was it? Like, I don't know. The, Mandal the Mandalorian is what it is, and it's good. We distant from the Skywalker saga right now when people are just, so the Star Wars fan base is just so divided over um, the recent movies, and uh, at least maybe something different that people can have a fresh take on, and people can hopefully agree on and just appreciate um i think that's all for uh, this episode and um i just hope you all have a great day and uh keep on building my friends